Welcome back. This session is about load shedding, the final technique of congestion control. So far we have seen different methods to avoid or prevent congestion, right? And if none of those methods works, congestion will happen in the network and these routers may be overwhelmed with packets that cannot handle. Then the only possible solution before the routers is just to throw some packets away. And that is called load shedding. The term load shedding we are already familiar with in electrical power generation, right? Yeah. In hot summer days and all, if the demand of electricity uh, is greatly exceed the supply what happens to save the electrical grid uh, from totally collapsing certain areas will be intentionally blanked out that is called lodge shedding. same thing happens here also so in the case of a uh, router the key question is these packets to be discarded by this router okay so the simplest method is definitely to select some packets randomly and drop but that is not efficient because uh, some of the packets may be important than other or depending on the application older one will be better to drop or newer one will be better to drop so different cases are the so one choice is depending on the application select the packets to be dropped and uh, the some more better policy is intelligent discard policy with the help of the sender machine mark different packets according to its importance just for example the packets which carry some routing information should not be discarded right so in that case regular data packets will be better choice for discarding so such things are there so we can see one by one the say example for uh, dropping packets depending on the application dropping packets in file transfer in case of file transfer all packet is uh, worth than a new one just for example dropping packet 6 and keeping packet 7 to 10 create some extra work in the receiver right because uh, as you know in case of file transfer every packet should be delivered in the proper order everything should be there right so in that case if we drop packet 6 and keep packet 7 to 8 7 to 10 what happens all these packets should be buffered in the receiver right and it should be wait until packet 6 is received later then only it can deliver this uh, data packets to the upper layer so here we have to take the policy that old is better than new right and that is called wine policy so it's better to uh, drop packet 10 right so that uh, 6 to 9 can be delivered so this uh, policy that is old is better than new that is called wine policy just like wine older as it gets older and older it become more powerful right so the new packets can be dropped whereas the old packet can be kept there and let us take another application that is real-time media just for example a video conferencing application how to draw packets in this case here the packet become useless if they miss time right so the application is real time so if we receive some data packets after a long time it is meaningless to receive it whereas we can drop some packets in between that is not a problem here so always better to drop older packets and receive new packets right that is called new is better than old and the corresponding policy is called milk policy if we keep the milk more than a time period it becomes spoiled and useless right so the same thing happens in the case of real-time application now the packets to be discarded can be chosen in a more efficient way using this intelligent discard policy so that definitely requires the cooperation from the sender application so sender application should mark each and every packet the importance of that packet let's say for example there can be some field in the header of that packet which carries some uh, class label okay that marks the class label according to the importance just for example there can be packets that carry routing information so these packets are more important than regular data packets right because they are establish the routes so if they are lost the network may lose connectivity in that case regular data packets can be discarded rather than this routing information packets another example is in the algorithms for compressing video like mpeg etc periodically transmit an entire frame right then a sequence of uh, frames which are different from the last full frame in this case dropping a packet that is part of a difference is preferable over dropping one that is part of a full frame right because the future packets depend on the full frame so based on this types of uh, importance we can uh, drop different packets now how to implement this policy we are using the sender application marks the importance of the packet so there can be some uh, header field to indicate the importance of every packet maybe some number okay and uh, based on this the network will analyze the corresponding header part to find out the importance of this packet and the least important one should be discarded so this is all about load shedding. Thank you.